The court will now reconvene for a trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you please uh, present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The four we do have may not be hard evidence, <laughs> but there is still no one else that could have committed a crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. <clears throat> there is another person who could have committed this crime. Really? Order! Interesting. Well, let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing an innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? Um... Honestly, I'm not entirely sure, but I really... I'm not gonna go with the assistant girl, and I doubt it's a boy. I think it's the security lady. It was the security lady! Wendy Oldbag! Who? The steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Mainly, maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Obed. What? You whippersnapper. Oh, man. She does look creepy when she gets pissed off like that, though. Order, order! Uh, is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she had no alibi. She could have been briefly left her post to steal a Steel Samurai costume, then slipped into Studio One to see the murder. Why would she go through the trouble wearing a Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in her in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent detective reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here, Sherlock Holmes the second, baby. Well that's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection to some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Ho <laughs> ho what? What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, see, so you all think I did it, huh? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this whole, uh, take this whole way. <laughs> Give Granny a bake? Hell no, I'm gonna press further. The very same reason that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forgot that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's only a grade schooler though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? Yeah, that doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could have paid my old man ten seconds tops! Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not, is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Or is it to be nice to the kids and be mean to your elders day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Proof? Indeed? Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could have not committed this murder. Um. Uh. <laughs> huh. Is it. Okay, hold on a minute. I would think it's the key card because. You needed to get into Studio One where the body was found, so I think this is it. The scene of murder, as we all know, was Studio One. 
However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a car key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Mmm. The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Wendy. Miss Wendy, uh, what was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. <laughs> the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. <laughs> that is all. Court is adjourned. Ah, oh, man, I love this humor. Wait a second! I'm not gonna sit here while you just run off barking up the wrong tree. Me! I'm talking! Oh damn it. Oh great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Huh? It wasn't... You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her to talk? Well, 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 testify! My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. They were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend that they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Wow, uh, Miss Oldbag! This is crucial information! Why did you keep this from the court until now? Aren't you- ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. I witnessed the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Oh, damn, um... Um... Huh. Well, what the hell could I really go on? I mean, I guess I could press on something. Um... Okay, yeah, we need we need more information on who these people were. We can't just be say some people. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? Who should have known something was fishy? How could they have done a run through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes. Well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee's area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? It was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. Oh, okay, there it is. You go through the gate and all the way to your left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Oh, so I couldn't even really access it. Well, Mr. Wright, would you care to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked my questions, but... Actually, no, we're just gonna go ahead and just take a break. Your Honor, we have learned that there were others at Global Studios on a day in question. The director and the producer and, um, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm... The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people who have just been told off. <sighs> I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. The court is adjourned. Now I think it's adjourned. Now we're not going to get any more interruptions. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, oh, really? It's nothing. I really can't make a grid noise. Oh, and uh, should I? We'll be going down to the... Oh, uh, wait. No, that's Phoenix's voice. We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and producer. 
they'll be tuning, they'll be turning up in the next trials when this is for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who it was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it have really been a windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying some time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there with, our, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Ah, to be continued. Ah, I would continue on for today, but... I think I'll save it for later. So, yep, I think that's all I'm going to be doing for today, guys. So, I think I got a good hour and 20 minutes recorded. And, yeah, I've been uh, going in and out of recording sessions because of... Uh, I had to pause because I had to do stuff for like hours and I totally forgot I had to I had this running and I had to replay the whole section of the game. So yeah, I don't know, I have to edit some stuff out, hopefully, but yeah, okay guys, I think that's all I got for right now. So next time we're just gonna be continuing our investigation on who killed Mr. Uh, Jack Hammer. Jack no. Is that his name? That can't be right. It can't be Jackhammer. Oh, shit. Oh, well. I, really, I think I just made an ass of myself. But okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, as usual, guys, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Florida Nintendo DS. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys later.